In terms of core structure for the level three certificate in assessing vocational achievement, otherwise known as the Carver qualification, there are a number of steps to completing the course. First of all, we need to complete the theory element of the course. So this is uh, unit one, okay? So this is all about understanding the roles, responsibilities of an assessor. Once we've sent that in to the marking team and it's passed, you move on to the next section. This is unit two and unit three, workplace and vocational assessments. For these stages, you need to plan eight assessments in total and you are going to be conducting those eight assessments on two candidates, okay? These can be uh, colleagues, they could be ex-colleagues, they could be learners, apprentices, but two candidates, ideally within the same field as you, okay? So you are learning these key assessing skills and you are going to provide feedback with confidence. So ideally working within the same field as you is going to be very, very beneficial. Once uh, seven assessments out of the eight have been signed off, you move on to your final uh, assessment. So this can be workplace or vocational, okay? And this is going to be observed by a qualified assessor, okay? This could be someone within your uh, organisation, of course, if you do have access to a qualified assessor, or alternatively, you can video record uh, your assessment and send it into the trainee team to review your final assessment, okay? After the observation, there is a professional discussion which you need to complete uh, along with a qualified assessor. And once your eight assessments and your observation, of course, have been passed by the team, you will receive your train aid certificate. Um, this will be emailed to you, of course, and that can be downloaded for your records as well. OK, so we are now ready to begin uh, the unit one um, assignment. But again, if you do have any questions, please get in contact with the team.